Well hi folks, I'm just coming to the end of a big long run of doing terracotta plant pots now. I've been doing it for three weeks and it's driven me mad. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of the three main ones I've been making. I'll just do the last three. Get rid of this rattle. Shut up. The first one's just going to be a basic sort of plant pot shape. They're really easy to throw, especially with terracotta because it's so it's just so forgiving the clay. So I'm just going to centre that as such quite wide and just stretch it out to make the base. these are going on the wall they're actually flattened on one side so I'm going to put a drain hole in just with my finger straight through the base like so couldn't be easy it's just basically one lift and a bit of fiddling about the end so they're just a basic shape nothing fancy First one was easy as that, could be easier really, it's so easy to throw. Just knock it out. So what I do with these, I let them dry a little bit and then I'll just decorate them a touch. And then before they're too dry, I'll just sort of plonk them on the on their edge on a table. So basically one side's flat sort of across there, then I'll push a hole in so you can hang them on the wall you see. And so that's that shape done. And the second one is just going to be a little bit sort of a little bit of a rounder more bulbousy shape. with this put the hole in again drainage hole I'm gonna throw a bit of a pull a bit of a cylinder with this because it's gonna be needed to be bellied out a bit just go up like so I want it to be round at the base, I'm just going to squash it in, squeeze it in with the two hands like so to get it narrower at the base. And simply I'm just going to use my hand inside, not lifting it or anything, I'm just going to widen it out by, push <coughs> by pushing outwards. Like so, that's got the main shape. And I'm just going to put a bit of a ledge in by sticking my finger in like so, and then lifting up just above that ledge, which forms a bit of a lip. So that's the second shape. I've been making these for three weeks now, and it's, I hate making the same things over and over and over again, it drives you bananas, but it's spring and people are starting to plant stuff out now, so I need to get some of these made. So that's the second shape there. Put that there. And the final one's like a tall trumpet shaped one. Which looks quite difficult to make, but it isn't really. It's got a really narrow base and it's just like a flared trumpet. high as I can the first time. So I'm going to go in with my fingers at the base and I just 
lift. I'll try and get it as high as it can in one lift. So, and again, this has got a really narrow base, so I'm going to squeeze right in. It might go a little bit off centre at the top, but it doesn't matter, you can catch it later. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of try and make it a slightly triangular shape, just for the start, by just squeezing it where it's a bit wide, and then coming out. Like so. And I'm just going to go in halfway down and just keep lifting it up and just flaring it out into the triangular shape. So that's about that one done. Like I say, it looks like it should be quite difficult to throw. I mean, a really narrow base, but terracotta is just so easy to make. I don't know why. It's not even rough terracotta, this. This is smooth stuff, so it's not actually... It doesn't feel any different to the stoneware I throw, but it's just really throw it quickly. So that's that, that's the three sort of main shapes we make. They're all flattened so you can hang them on a the wall like that one. I'll lay it on its back and flatten it a touch before it gets too hard. And if it is too hard I can just sponge it around the edge with some water to, just to soften the rim so I can flatten the rim. So that's it folks, about three sort of simple-ish terracotta pots that I make millions of at this time of year. That's about it. Thank <laughs> you.